They want to be so hip. And I remember we were at the end. <laughs> Girl, y'all be having me getting in trouble. But I can't tell you nothing but my experience. Go ahead. What happened? And we were at the Emmys. And Taraji, you know, Taraji loved on me. Mm -hmm. Tisha Campbell, who I love, mm -hmm. loved on me. Mm -hmm. And then one of them asked to say, they, they walked and they, they talked to RuPaul. And then when she walked and they asked, like, who, which one was that? I said, that's Tisha Campbell. M Martin. Mm -hmm. This is why it's, my blackness is important to be in that space. Right. Not to say RuPaul's not black, but RuPaul is a rich, 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 rich white woman, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm her ears to the street. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Right. I'm her ears to the street because that's not her thing. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's why I was like, T.S., who was that? I said, it's, <laughs> it's Tisha Campbell, honey. Right. Martin. It's like, oh. Honey, I don't know those girls. I don't know. I don't know those children that are of those smaller networks. Those girls are black. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched Martin. I don't know. Those girls are black. Okay. So it's this. This is all I be saying. You know what I'm saying? And then sometime when they we, it, it's true though, Craig. <laughs> what he say? No, those girls are black. Those girls are black, honey. So <laughs> like, girl, this is popular culture. This is how. <laughs> no, that's black popular culture. But this is how you enter. <laughs> this is how you intermix. Right. Correct. And see, you know, the other thing, too, going back to what we were saying about <laughs> if this show is moved to a different platform, this is not scripted. I have my, some of my friends have said, y'all not scripted? Y'all like, like, like the thing we read the teleprompter. That, that, I'm like, bitch, we ain't no teleprompter in that bitch. We reading the comments. <laughs> just like anything that I ran about, just like the I'm black. I didn't read a teleprompter. Right. I didn't read it. That came from my heart. That came from my spirit. I read, bitch, I was heated. What, Myrtle? So girl, stop. See, I can't even express nothing without you making everything so fucking shady. Somebody put money changes race. Craig, come on back, girl. <laughs> come on back. <laughs> but it's the truth. Right. I, like, like all of my shit that done went stupid, crazy, viral, or that done went somewhere, that shit came from my soul. Right. It's just off can't the top. No, can't nobody write shit for me, me saying, and, and when stuff be written for me, Y'all don't like it. Right. Girl, I don't like she feel I feel like she I don't like I don't feel her. Look, Chris said, wait, there's no teleprompter. No, this is off the top of our head. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this foolishness. But you can tell because we're always going over time. Yeah. If this was scheduled. Wait a minute, Craig. Wait, did hold you, on. Did you get that light little dig? I, I, I caught that girl. I caught that. <laughs> we always hold on. Work. Cause we finna we finna drag the fag. <laughs> we we about to drag the fag. That's not what I'm cause, saying. Cause the gag is. We have to work around your schedule. That's not I, we already know <laughs> Wait, that what? you would, I, <laughs> in conjunction. That's not what I'm, I, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, though. we yeah. know that you said that you had something to do on Sunday, but we just checked in with you during commercial break to see what you had to do. Hey, now, if you, had, if, if you have received the time that you have to, dis, di, to oh, disperse, Right. I was not talking about because that. we actually have to work around. We got your, to in our show because he got other things. We have to, to do. work around your pain for safe schedule. First, no. First of all, we're about, no, we're about to do that. Let's do it because we originally said Saturday. No, we did. We yeah. no, we did. We did. We, did. we said Saturday. We said it could be Saturday. It could be, it could be Saturday or Sunday. However, whichever day you should be available because you don't work seven days a week, girl. You I'm, barely work two. I, I do work seven days. A week. Yeah, not for me though. But I work seven days a week. But not for me. But I do work seven but days. But not for me. <laughs> Girl, see, this is why sometimes it's good to have some good white people around you. I'm always gonna keep me. <laughs> I'm gonna always keep me a <laughs> right. I gotta ooh. I gotta get me some good white people around always me. Always keep me a good white fool. I'm always hiring you people. <laughs> Come on, napkins. If you a napkin, what the application is. Right. <laughs> I'm always hiring you people. Yeah, if you ain't no DEI over here. <laughs> Oh God. oh God! Ain't no DEI over here. Okay. <laughs> ah. Oh my God! Oh my God! That's too funny. But you know, but then it's just like if we do go to another platform, they're gonna want to give us a teleprompter, which I understand, just I to mean, give the show structure, which is fine. Craig, I'm not, I'm not opposed to structure, but there are lots of times that people take the mm out of it. That's what I'm saying. And like you, you, you can't take the. Mm 
out of something, yeah. you, especially if that mm is what's making it move. You feel me? Yeah. You know, but you also have to be open to a restructure. For sure. Especially if if the now if the bag hits a certain way. Oh, I can say what you want me to Hi. say. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys, good morning. Hey, good morning. Here, welcome to the show. Welcome to uh, popular hot gossip. Popular hot gossip. <laughs> <laughs> PhG talk. <laughs> You'll never knew it was two fags. We're just PhGers. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I can't curse. Oh, okay. okay, it's all right. God damn it. <laughs> Shoot. Shucks. Dear God. Ah, gee whiz okay follow us on our social media <laughs> <laughs> where we can cuss no we don't even have to tell them that they know what's gonna go on in social media right that's why i had to let those motherfucking drag race girls know right that's just why i had to let those motherfucking drag race girls know those stands <clears throat> bitch Okay. Don't you ever for one minute think because I'm on here loving on these girls and I'm over here and they edit my critiques down to a few words and all this stuff, bitch, right. that you that you will be able to step in the ring with me, bitch. I am a heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> okay, Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm a he I'm a I am a i am a verbal assassin, oh. bitch. Oh and if God. you think, girl, that you bitches are equipped, I'm I'm ready for round for round. You don't have enough words in your You article. don't have enough. You're just you just got here, niece. Okay. Bitch, I'll hit you with some Jim and the hologram shit, bitch, that you don't even knew <laughs> before you even got here. Jim, truly contagious. <laughs> truly, truly, truly outrageous. Oh, Jim. Oh, Jam. Truly outrageous. Jim is my name. No one else is the same. Jim is my name. It's yeah. showtime synergy. Right. <laughs> and she had her little earrings. It's showtime, bitch. She would do like this. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Woo! Speaking of white people, girl, what done happened, Craig? You still in the area? Oh right. yes. Please play that and then we dive into her. Run it so we can delve, please. All right, and here we go. Okay, so let me get this straight. White people are going down to Mexico for vacation and are complaining that the Mexican bands that play on the Mexican beaches are too loud. And the white people complain so much that the Mexicans that ran those Mexican hotels was trying to ban the Mexican bands from playing Mexican music on the Mexican beaches. So the Mexican president got involved and had to send the Mexican military to go down to the Mexican beach because there was too many Mexican protesters protesting against the white people who were trying to ban the Mexican bands. And so the Mexican military is singing alongside the Mexican protesters. Then y'all get mad when people call y'all mayonnaise warriors. Not only that, they have mayonnaise warriors who have moved down to Mexico that have caused a lot of the Mexican restaurants to stop making spicy food. So a lot of the Mexican restaurants are saying that they have to throw out tons and tons of food because white people are complaining so much about the food being spicy that they have to redo a lot of their orders. How about the white people in Mexico? Why don't you go back to your country? And y'all quick to say, it's not always about race. So what is this? Really? No, they probably they probably white down there in South Africa. No, in South Africa is one thing. In Nigeria, that's another thing. They will never come to Nigeria and be like the fufu too hot. Exactly. They'll be like, oh, it's too hot there. Did you want us to change it there? Eh? Okay, no problem. Wait, wait here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll make you a good, good place. That should be spicy in the first place. The the jala. The jala. <laughs> be no problem, man. We'll make it. We'll make it just for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. See, this is my problem with 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 them. And it ain't all white people, let me just say that. Yep. This is gentrification and appropriation at its best. Now, y'all don't want Mexicans here. <laughs> oh, Craig, you finna shake this motherfucking table up. Y'all don't want Mexicans here, and then they can't be in Mexico either? <laughs> they can't be a Mexican in, in Mexico? You want to go down there with that unseasoned-ass food? 
You go to Mexico to experience the country and the culture and right. the music. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass down to Florida. Wait a Sorry. minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold Sorry. on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I had to come back. Hold Sorry. on. Sorry. Take your ass down to Florida. You no, know, take your ass to Wichita, Wichita Kansas, because it's right. Because it's definitely in Florida. Right. Go to Montana, some damn where. <laughs> now, how you gonna? Did I tell y'all this story over Come here? Come on, Randy. I got a friend who lives. I think I did tell this story about the Universe Soul Circus, the Black Circus. Yeah. Yeah, I told this story, right? Well, you can tell it again. We're so, here. So, a friend of mine lives over there near Turner Field, where they used to play the, ba the play baseball. And so, long story short, the black circus used to set up their tent in this huge parking lot on the corner. So they got the elephants and shit. They got lions and shit. They got cows, not cows, but clowns. And, you know, it's a, it's a circus. Well, as sure as the white folks start moving in, now this is a black neighborhood. Black children going over here to the circus. As soon as these white people move in, now all of a sudden it's too noisy. It, 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 they don't want it over there. It's too much traffic. First of all, white people, y'all just moved in. We've been over here. You don't get to come over here and, t and then you think you're going to go down to Mexico and tell <laughs> those people that they can't play their music on the beach? So you want to run shit here, run shit there. Right. Who do you think you are? Like, this is the kind of shit I be talking about <laughs> that pisses me off. Y'all like spoiled ass children. You want to own everything. You know, ran the uh, Native Americans off, the, off their land. Put them on the trail of tears. You know, ran black folk all out of, <laughs> out of Africa, out of Nigeria, and you got these, and you got these, look, and, look, and you got these, look, and you got these Dominican niggas sticking the name black because because y'all picked them up first. <laughs> you got these damn Dominican niggas thinking they not black because y'all picked them up first before you came to the new world. And then you want to get here and you want to be able to call us nigga because you created the word. Uh-uh. And we can't say it to each other. Because we can't say it to each other because we say it to each other. You should be allowed to say it. Well, you can't. <sighs> then that's why you, when you go on these resorts and shit to places why the food tastes so goddamn bland because they asses and wrote a letter. <laughs> You like, bitch, where's the saison? Right. Excuse me? Why we had over here saying, Dora, Dora, Dora. Right. Which, why we not listen to Toro the Bull, bitch? You got to be pa packing sauce and shit in your bag. Like we going to visit London. Well, to be honest with you, going to Mexico is different from going to States. Like the food wise. Food wise, I mean. Come on, it's elaborate, Mo. We, we've been to both. Let's go. Actually, we've both been to both at the same time. So I'd like for you to elaborate, please. <laughs> Somebody said not a chipotle pepper inside. <laughs> it's too spicy. Well, right, it's too spicy. Well, in, 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 Mexico, in Mexico, the food is much more flavorful. Uh-huh. Very. When we went to Spain. It wasn't, let's just say it wasn't as flavorful it as was, you would thought. Oh, okay. It was very touristy? Yes. Yeah. We had more flavor on the ship. On the ship than we did in Spain. We had more variety on the ship. Yes. Girl, they get on my nerves. <laughs> on the ship, we had more variety. Yes, on the ship. There was more variety. There's more flavor on the ship than we can well, on the, the country we were in. Yeah, because I was like, girl, what is, Bo, I was like, what is going on in here? He was like, I don't need to eat no more. Let's go back to the Take me back to the motherfucking boat. <laughs> Girl, that's annoying. Me and Mo was, Mo was I said, I can't find nothing to eat here. I'm gonna lose 25 pounds here. This might be a blessing in disguise. But girl, I can't find nothing to eat. Was over. Nothing. I got on that boat and ate a salad. I put so much salad dressing on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ain't no damn flavor. I put so much motherfucking salad dressing on there. I said, God, gee. Girl, they something else. Bitch. It was very bland, and I was not expecting that from Italy. I was I was really expecting flavor. It was decent, but I was expecting because Yeah, because like y'all not using no more base. Like you can usually taste basil in time and this you can taste the seasoning. Girl, they're not using none of that. 
So they done fucked it up for everybody. But I can't, and see, this is the other thing. They, they act like they, and everybody that speaks Spanish, they swear Mexican. Yeah, that's Thai. They swear everybody that speaks Spanish is Mexican. That's Thai, girl. So Cinco de Mayo come around, here they, here they come, but they got them sombreros. It's like, girl, that's just, it's not just. And Mexican people don't even celebrate that. Here they come, but they got them sombreros and their, and their margarita. With their drunk asses. I can't stand when they drunk and they trying to talk to me. Man, back up. Y'all not, not even friendly when y'all sober. Y'all not even friendly when y'all sober. Back up for me. I was out last Sunday. After I left here last week, I met up with some friends of mine. This white lady talking about, what's wrong? Why are you? She was in her cup. Rubbing on you. She was, honey, had kissed, had kissed me on my cheek a couple times. I'm like, girl, if you don't back up. Girl, yes, because, uh, girl, you be the main one down there trying to grope me. And then she be down at, at down at the police station oh, trying to God. say, right? He touched me, girl. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you think we forgot what y'all did all those many right. years ago? And you still doing? You over here kissing and licking on me and stuff like that, girl. <laughs> Talking about you seem annoyed. Girl. I be I be trying to get them. You know, Mo has a, you know his skin so dark, right? And so I be having to make sure I pull him. Come on here, nigga. right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Before they have your ass tied up to the back right there by your toenails. Man, I, told you I, <laughs> I don't give a who. <laughs> right. You know you you know you're enamored by white skin, nigga. Don't play. Girl, they know they love to get friendly when they in that cup. Yeah. And they had a music festival. Or a game. Girl, back up. You don't talk to me any other time. There were people like that on the ship. Yes, they were. I'm like, come on here, Mo. <laughs> Y'all wears their ass, asses out though. When I'm in my car and when I'm crossing the street, honey, I hit that lock. I lock them doors up. Come on here, Mo. You Before, walking too close to my door, ma'am. Before I find you on, okay. on three level, three decks below the ship with no kidney. Right. Right. They've been in soldier and goddamn spleen. I'm waking up with eggs in my, in my, in my Ain't no eggs. Just a hole in your ass. Look, Come and, on here. Look, and some paper towel <laughs> to, to serve as guards. Okay, he bleeding from his side. <laughs> all I remember is this white bitch was kissing on me. You ain't, right. nigga, you ain't watch Get Out. Right, up there doing all that skinning and grinning. <laughs> you know them black, you know them white people don't like you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, somebody said they was out there trying to find them a cuckold. Right. <laughs> you know they don't even fool with you when it's, when it's a normal day. <laughs> oh, my they God. Seem, they seem so intrigued. The testicles gone. <laughs> you be over here like me, like damn, Maddie. Shit. Girl, I work there. Ain't got no nuts no I more. I'm every like, chance nigga, I do you bitch. still got your dick? That's all that matters. Did they leave you with your dick, nigga? I have to check. No, oh my God. <laughs> every chance I get, bitch, I wear them out. I'm in Target. Excuse me, man. Do you know where the light bulbs are? That bitch was dressed just like this. <laughs> oh, I don't work here. Oh, you don't. Oh, you look like you work here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tears their asses up. Craig, stop with your disdain for Ma'am, do you know where the vegan mayo is? <laughs> oh, you don't work here? See, oh, you got on your This is Craig's disdain for white people showing. <laughs> oh, I thought you I thought you Oh, I'm sorry. Craig, that's not all white people. Oh, Craig. I thought you See, you have to stop doing what they do to us. I thought you had you I thought to, you had on the uniform. You have, to, <laughs> you have to stop doing to them. Oh, no, I'm going to give it to them every chance I get. No, you have to stop doing to them what they do to <laughs> us, grouping us. Reparations, bitch. <laughs> Grouping us up in that, girl, it's, I wins them out. It's not all they didn't. It's not all. Well, girl, let's stop. Girl, that's not all they do it, Craig. <laughs> Honey, I tears them up every chance I get. But I can't believe they going down to Mexico and doing that. How you gonna go down there and try to ask for the manager? <laughs> you don't want to hear the Mexican music on the beach. The food is too spicy. Well, bitch, don't eat. But you down there smoking up that weed, though. Because let me tell you, we was on that beach in Spain. Boy. We was on the motherfucking beach. We was on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any weed? <laughs> <laughs> what, what they say, girl? Did you have any weed? Like, girl, we here just like y'all, girl. Right. We know. No, bitch, you should have brought it to TSA. Bitch, oh, yes. you, we here. Did you think that we snuck weed in? Okay. Us? You know what? No, right. I'm just saying now we don't have Bitch, it. Bitch, I don't smoke. Bitch, I don't ask that man, that Mexican man right. walking on. <laughs> I'd be like, it's some white people down there with some weed. Go down there and ask them. <laughs> Shit, bag of bitch, you might be a narc. Do you have any weed? Like, girl, you're not finna, I don't know what you, you're not finna risk me. Right. 
Hell no, nah, I don't have no weed. Ha, look, had ha, ha, ha me out here bitch. caught up in another country. Do you have any marijuana? Right. No, bitch. No. Shit. Oh, my God. Girl, you're dressed like you work at Target. I thought you worked here at the Target. <laughs> <laughs> you don't work here? This is not your department? I thought this was your department. <laughs> So let me tell you about an experience, honey. What happened? Let's let's move over to the black sector. Now. Okay. okay. Since, since blacks we, buckle up. Since we just run, <laughs> since, since we just rung up the cross. We are, right. We're an equal opportunity place. Let's move over here to the black sector because y'all down there, Kiki and I got to get a little piece for y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I had called in because there was something that I needed. I don't want to tell you the place or time, and I had called in uh -huh. on the telephone, and I think that the person recognized my voice and name from when I where I called in, honey. Uh huh. Madison Hinton. Oh. That's the only name that I have. <laughs> That's the only name that I have, Madison Hinton. Oh, okay. The other name, um, those only checks coming in, so I'm not calling anywhere about unless a check didn't come. <laughs> okay. But um, this was about something important. Okay. And then, um, so uh, it was like, you know, of course, if my name is Madison Hinton, and then you're looking at my date of birth, and you probably see the sex, so she began to... Uh, say, and I sound like no one's man on the phone. <laughs> right. Uh, no, sir. As I say, okay. That's what she said. I, I let her slip the first time. Well, she may have thought you were a fag. No, she knew. But 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 my name is Madison. Oh, she saw the name Madison. Yes. Well, why I, do you think she what? Here, well, she, Madison Hinton. Anyway, this listen. This is how you're gonna get clarity. Okay. And then she said, uh, no, sir. And I was like, mm, I'm going to let her slide because maybe she, maybe it was the morning, top of the morning. I had a frog in my face. <laughs> 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 you may have been a little heavy in the morning. Maybe she could have got me confused with Dionne Warwick. You know? <laughs> girl, 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 girl. <laughs> with Dionne. Girl, she may have thought you were, right, like a smoker. She or probably something. thought I was a smoker. Uh huh. So I cleared my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I was like, well, ma'am, I was unaware that uh, that this uh, situation was transpired because I have I hadn't received any more um, paper invoices or whatever, you know, because mm -hmm. now because, you know, when you switch your some of your bills over to paper, you know, and then then she said, well, you can log in. I, well, I said, I'm in the app now and I don't see, you know, where there's a balance that I have to pay. I think she says, well, you have to log in from the computer, sir. And I was like, "This is the second time." The second time. So you cleared your throat now. This again. is after my throat is clear. <laughs> right, given. I'm not a ma oh, so I'm not a sir. I'm a ma'am. You cleared your throat the first time. Yes. Okay. And then this was after my throat was cleared. <laughs> so then I cleared my throat again. Girl, there was some sort of a pathogen in there. I could clear my throat again to make sure. And so I think that when she read whatever, what that she knew it was me. Oh. Cause I, I get that a lot when I call in the places or whatever, and it's like I, I got it with ADT, I got it with like a lot of places. Like they're calling, like, oh, excuse me, I'm not. Are you T.S. Madison? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, my name is Madison. Right, Hitch. right, right, right. Anyway, so after the second sir, she was not getting the third time. Um, and then <laughs> she wasn't gonna get uh, another pass. No, she wasn't. And then so <laughs> after I found out that that I had to go through from the the portal from the desktop version. To see, I said, "Oh, I mm -hmm. say, well, thank you, ma'am, so much for, um, you know, maneuvering me, you know, through this process because I wouldn't have noticed that during the app." And then so she said, um, "You're welcome." So I said, "No, no, 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 no. It's ma'am." Uh -huh. I said, "It was ma'am the the first seven times that you uh, were saying sir, and you attempted to call me ma'am the first time." I said, "It's ma'am." What did she say? She said, "Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am." I said, it's cool, but as long as you know the first seven times that we were talking, it was ma'am then. And if you ever get me on the phone again, it's going to always be ma'am. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. Mm. Now, here's the thing. This is going to piggyback off of one of the stories that I wanted to talk about that we never got a chance. How mm. that girl was talking about her religion. Oh, yeah, yeah. The black girl that was in the car. The black girl in the car, she said her religion would not allow her to, to use the proper pronouns to use the pronouns for her, for her co-workers like, no it's her co-workers like her, well, I mean, her co no she worked at a job and the, and the co-workers said pronoun, my pronouns so are her, she her and hers and she was like well my religion won't allow me to to, to, to lie to lie to won't allow me to lie and i'm not going to say she her and her and here's my thing 
And I don't, it's going to be some people that are going to windmill in the, in the comment section and they're going to whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm just laying it on the line like mm-hmm. this. Leave your God in your house when you're dealing with the world. 